Hey everyone, today I'm going to do an unboxing of this pen display, and then give you my first impressions while doing a painting demo. And all this in under a minute. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. I finally made a video over a minute long, Okay. so sit back, relax, and stick around. But first off, let me just say that this video is not sponsored. But a company named Viek did provide me with this pen display to do an unboxing. The pen display itself is the VK1200, which is an 11.6 inch pen display that plugs into your Mac or PC, so you can use it with any desktop digital drawing software. They also pitch it as an online education and or remote office tool, since it's basically like having a second monitor with pen capabilities. At the time of this video, it's about $200 on AliExpress. I've added a link to the product in the description. So what's the unboxing experience like? Well, right off the bat, I was really impressed with the packaging. The box was very sturdy, yet very elegant and Apple-like. Beautiful image of the product, great design, and this free your mind tagline was pretty cool. Inside the box, everything is packed nice and snug. Here's the actual device nicely protected in this bag. And here's the warranty card and an artist's glove, which is kind of a great thing to include. And after removing this hidden compartment, there's a bunch of other goodies. We got a cleaning cloth, some cables, extra pen nibs of different types, driver download information, and a quick start guide. You also provide a pen holder, and what's neat about it is that you can put all your nibs inside of it. They insert into this foam padding for storage and safekeeping. Here's the top that screws onto the bottom of the pen holder, and it all comes together like this. Definitely looks smart on your desk. Meanwhile, in the box, we also get two pens, which is convenient, and they come in this nice cozy pouch. The pen itself is very light in the hand and has nice ergonomics. Oh, and they don't need batteries, so that's one less thing to worry about. Now for the pen display itself. I'll say this, it has a nice weight in the hand. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic. Taking it out of the bag, my first thought was how high-end it feels for the price point. The attention to detail on the finishing is really nice, and overall it looks really elegant and classy and has a good mix of materials and finishes. Okay, so it looks great. Packaging is great, but how does it work? Well, let's try it out. <laughs> Connecting and powering the device basically takes two cables. One is a USB power cable and the other is an HDMI cable that connects to your Mac or PC. I took it for a spin using Adobe Photoshop. Creative Cloud has a bunch of interesting free brushes, so I grabbed this impressionist pack and thought I'd try my hand at an impressionistic landscape. While using it, the first thing I noticed was that the screen size was very small. Here's a comparison of the VX to my iPad Pro 12.9 inch, and even though 11.6 inches versus 12.9 inches doesn't sound like a big difference, in practice it really is. Couple that with the fact that Adobe Photoshop's UI is not really designed for smaller mobile-like screens, things can feel really cramped and small. Having said that, if you have limited desk space or need something compact to travel with, then the size may not be a con for you and may actually be a pro. Also, the good news is that you can customize Photoshop a lot. So even though I struggled initially, I quickly set it up in a way that worked with the smaller real estate. I also programmed the buttons on the VX to allow me to quickly access frequently used functions, which was nice. Now while drawing, I did notice a bit of a lag, and it was more than I was used to with my iPad Pro, but I quickly got used to it and it didn't stop me from getting work done. Regarding calibration, here's the kind of accuracy I was getting in the far corners, which is where these types of tablets struggle the most. Here you can see for yourself how it handles small UI elements. Overall, once I got into a rhythm and overcame the learning curve that comes with new tools and software, I was able to focus on making art and that's the most important thing. I did miss being in Procreate on the iPad, not gonna lie, but that's just because that's what I'm used to. And so using Photoshop with a pen display just felt a little awkward for me. I will say, the person I've been working with from Viek has been super nice. And that always helps build your confidence in a company, so take that for what it's worth. Well, I think I'm pretty much done here, and I'm pretty happy with the results. So let's print it out, trim it up, and frame it. Yeah, if you have yeah. any questions, hit me up in the comments below. And as okay. usual, thanks for all the support and letting me be a part of your art journey. Until next time, Okay. cheers. I think it's about time for me to go in, like I die deep. Like I'm last week night with the flow here, Johnny boy my peeps. I'm an infotainment state, my brain ain't contained. Keep spilling out, I'm belligerent and same. My drink don't stay in place.